Hello and welcome. Uh, today we're going to cover the art of mimicry, that's how to learn pronunciation from a native speaker. If you're learning a foreign language, you may have struggled with achieving native-like pronunciation, but don't worry, in this video we're going to explore powerful techniques that can help you improve your pronunciation skills, and that is mimicry. Mimicry is the art of an imitating the pronunciation of a native speaker. By mimicking native speakers, you can develop a better ear for the language and acquire more natural pronunciation skills. So in this video, we're going to dive into the benefits of mimicry and practice the techniques and the real-life examples that can help you um, improve your pronunciation. Now, you might think mimicry is the same as shadowing, but there are actually two different techniques used in language learning, uh, specifically in the context of improving pronunciation and speech. And while both skills uh, involve in, um, imitating native speakers, there are some key differences. So mimicry is the act of imitating the sounds, rhythm, intonation, and other aspects of the speech of a native speaker. It involves closely imitating the pronunciation and speech patterns of the target language without necessarily understanding the meaning of the words being spoken because the focus is on replicating the sounds and the patterns of the native speaker's speech as accurately as possible. Shadowing, on the other hand, is a technique that involves listening to the native speaker's speech and simultaneously repeating what has been said with a slight delay. So the learner follows along with the speaker, mimicking their speech while also trying to comprehend the meaning of the words being spoken. And the emphasis is on matching the rhythm and intonation and pacing of the native speech but also aiming to understand the meaning of the words being spoken. So in summary, mimicry is primarily focused on imitating the sounds and patterns of the native speech, and shadowing involves imitating speech with a slight delay and aiming to understand the words being spoken. So both techniques can be effective in improving pronunciation and speech patterns, uh, and learners should probably use both depending on their goals and preferences. So whether you're a beginner or advanced user, let me dive into mimicry and show you how to learn pronunciation from native speakers. Once you understand the benefits of mimicry, the next step is to choose native speakers to imitate. So native speakers are the best source of authentic pronunciation, intonation, and rhythm, but how do you find the right native speaker to mimic? Well, first, you need to identify the accent or dialect that you want to emulate. Do you want to sound like a native speaker from a particular country or region or city? Uh, you need to consider the phonic features such as vowel sounds, consonant sounds, intonation sounds um, that are unique to that accent or dialect. Next, you have to find authentic video or audio resources featuring native speakers with that accent or dialect that you're targeting. So, looking for recordings of conversations, interviews, speeches, and other real-life situations where native speakers are naturally using the language. Now, the website Youglish is particularly good for this since it's indexed millions of YouTube videos and it allows you to search for a word and then it will show you clips of videos with that word being used. And at this time, it had 19 languages in addition to English. So, you need to listen carefully to the native speakers and pay close attention to their pronunciation, annotation, rhythm, and pace. You need to observe their mouth movements, tongue placement, and facial expressions, and try to imitate their speech patterns as closely as possible. Now, remember, the goal is not to mimic one particular native speaker perfectly, but rather to expose yourself to a variety of native speakers and develop a more flexible and adaptable pronunciation. So embrace the diversity of the accents and dialects in the language you're learning and have a bit of fun experimenting with the different styles. But once you've chosen native speakers to mimic, it's time to start practicing. So regular practice is essential for your pronunciation skills and developing the muscle memory uh, required for accurate speech. Now I recommend you do your um, mimic practice with videos, not audio recordings if possible. And the reason is that with a video, you can see the mouth movements and the tongue placement and the facial expressions of the speaker. Now, regardless of the amount of vocabulary or language that you understand, you can start mimicry from day one because uh, the first thing to practice is imitation, rhythm, and pace. And to do that, you can just talk nonsense. So you can start practicing with nonsense words 
or phrases that have the same rhythm, stress, and intonation as the native speaker. So these can be simple syllables or sounds that mimic the native speaker's speech pattern. For example, if the native speaker tends to speak in a fast pace with a rising, falling intonation, you can just practice saying da di da di da di or la 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 with the same rhythm and intonation as the native speaker and pay close attention to their mouth movements and their tongue placement as you mimic their speech. And try and replicate their lips moving and their tongue movements and the other sort of facial expressions associated with speech. And practice in front of a mirror so that you can observe and adjust your mouth movements and your tongue placements. And as you gain proficiency in mimicking the native speaker's speech patterns with nonsense words, you can gradually transition to real words and phrases and practice mimicking the native speaker's speech with actual words and phrases from the target language, focusing on accurate pronunciation, indentation, rhythm, pace, mouth movements, and tongue placement. And remember that you're not really concerned with comprehending what is being said. You're trying to accurately reproduce what is being said. So practice speaking out loud, repeating after the native speakers as many times as you need. Don't worry about making mistakes. It's all part of the process. So keep practicing regularly, day in, day out, and reinforce the new speech patterns and internalize the pronunciation. Now, in addition to mimicking recordings, try and engage in real life speaking conversations with native speakers whenever possible and use phrases and sentences such as you've practiced to communicate with the speakers in a natural setting. Pay attention to their feedback and their corrections and let them help you refine your pronunciation even further. Now you can use technology to help you practice mimicry. Uh, you record yourself and compare it to the recordings of native speakers to help identify areas for improvements. Uh, you can use apps or software that provide feedback for your pronunciation accuracy and give you targeted exercises. There are applications that will allow you to compare two sound files um, visually so you can see how your sound file is different from the native speaker. And remember that the key to effective mimicry is regular practice and perseverance. Now it's going to take a lot of time and effort, but with consistent practice, you'll internalize the speech patterns of the native speakers. You'll internalize and, and form the muscle memories to improve your communication skills. Monitoring your progress is crucial uh, to track your improvement and to make adjustments. So try and keep a record of your pronunciation practices and regularly assess your progress to identify areas that need more attention. Use the self-assessment tools, such as recording yourself speaking and comparing it to the native speakers you're mimicking. Pay attention to the specific areas like vowels, consonant sounds, stress patterns, imitation, and listen for the differences and make notes. Um, seek feedback from others whenever you can. So language exchange partners, teachers, native speakers, anybody who can help you. Try and ask for constructive feedback on your pronunciation and be open to any suggestions for improvement. Incorporate their feedback into your sessions. Um, track your progress over time and try and celebrate your achievements and set some sp sp specific pronunciation goals for yourself and monitor your progress. This will help you keep you motivated. Um, and remember that language learning is a journey and improving pronunciation takes time and practice so be patient and celebrate little milestones um, but don't stress yourself out about it. Now, incorporating pronunciation practice into your daily life can help you reinforce your learning and make it a natural part of your routine and uh, some tips to do that are you know practice in real life situations use your um, language skills in everyday situations such as ordering food, uh, directions, conversations. Uh, pay attention to your pronunciation during these interactions and try to apply the techniques. Um, listen to authentic materials and expose yourself to authentic materials in the target language whenever you can. Podcasts, news, broadcasts, songs, videos. Um, and always listen carefully to the pronunciation and try and imitate the accent and the rhythm. Um, get yourself some of these pronunciation apps. Um, there's a lot of open source free ones to choose from that'll help you um, provide 
and comparisons from your recordings to actual native speech and give you a lot of feedback. Practice with language exchange partners. Find people who are native speakers and are willing to give you pronunciation corrections and give you practice. If you're really struggling with certain words or phrases, create flashcards or notes and regularly review the pronunciation of those um, words or, or phrases. And always try and do your daily practice in front of a mirror so that you can see your own mouth movements and expressions and body language. And again, regular practice, daily practice will help you. Um, remember that the more you practice, the better you'll become at mimicking natural native speech and you'll develop more accurate pronunciation. So just make it part of your daily workload uh, to reinforce your learning and, and skills in pronunciation. Now, getting feedback is invaluable for improving your, your pronunciation. So some things you can consider is join language exchange or conversation groups and always ask for feedback on your pronunciation. Um, record yourself speaking, get professional feedback. You know, there are language tutors, coaches, um, speech therapists who can help you. Um, always be open to the feedback and correction. Don't, don't take it wrong. Always have a positive attitude. Always try and receive the feedback and, and change your pronunciation. Just remember to be practiced. Um, just remember to practice patience because it's you know it's gonna take you a long time. You just have to be persistent, and eventually you will get to where you want. Now, feedback and correction will greatly enhance your pronunciation skills, so don't ever be afraid to get feedback and correction. But consistent practice will also help. So set aside a dedicated practice time each day. And consider it a regular appointment, just as you would do anything else. Um, try and find apps or software that help with pronunciation. Find audio, video material, podcasts, audiobooks, YouTube channels, uh, and always try and mimic the pronunciation. So always pay attention to the imitation rhythm and stress patterns. Um, do pronunciation drills, like get specific words that you have problems with or phrases and practice the individual sounds, syllables, word stress, annotation, and rhythm. There's also resource guides for, for pronunciation guidelines and tutorials, so try and watch those and, and take in what they're telling you. Um, record yourself again and listen to yourself, and you can identify where you have not pronounced things correctly or that you're hesitant or have problems. Um, but just be consistent and persistent. Um, and you will get there. Embrace the mistakes that you make because feedback is a critical part of developing skills. So be patient, but don't worry about mistakes. They're just opportunities for growth and they will help you. Now there's lots of resources for language learners on the internet and there's lots for pronunciation practice. Some of them, which you might want to look into, is YouTube, which is just a treasure trove of videos tutorials for language sounds, tutorials for pronunciation practice that you can watch. But also, as I mentioned earlier, Youglish, which uh, is a website that's indexed millions of YouTube tracks and it allows you to search for a specific word and it shows you short clips with that word being used. There's Forvo, which is an online pronunciation dictionary with audio pronunciations of words in multiple languages. Um, Speechling, uh, has an online personalized language coach system. Uh, FluentU.com uh, has authentic videos, movie clips, commercials, etc. to help you with your language skills and pronunciation. And um, there's lots of online forums and communities, one of them which I learned, which is forum.language-learners.org. And you can interact with uh, native speakers, you can ask for feedback on your pronunciation, etc. And there's lots of learning apps, um, Duolingo, Babbel, Mem Memrise, um, that have some pronunciation exercises and drills. Um, and you can use these to, to help. So these are just a couple of examples of the many, many resources for pronunciation practice. And incorporating, incorporating these uh, into your language learning 
can help you, you know, uh, practice and improve your pronunciation skills. Make sure to check the accuracy and reliability of online resources and cross-reference information from multiple sources just to ensure that you're getting correct information. Um, and be mindful that there are potential variations in regional accents and dialects and pronunciation can vary across different regions of a, of a language and in, can even vary within the same dialect or regional accent. So um, you just need to be aware of these things, but consistent practice and work every day will help you. So try mimicry uh, and get it to help you learn to practice your pronunciation. Okay, well that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed uh, this video. I hope the information was useful. I will put some links to the resources that I've described in the comment section. Uh, again, please like the video. It really does help me out. And uh, subscribe if, you, if you're interested in this sort of thing. Thank you very much.